Okay, part two. Navigating through this now moment. Okay, so part two. Hope you're all doing spectacularly well in this now moment. Hugs, hearts, prayers to all of you. I'm at Central Meridian. Anti-clockwise over your heart. Feel the energy of your heart. Hold those emotional stress release points. Or imagine warmth coming to that frontal cortex, allowing problem solving, allowing love, allowing peace, allowing calm. It's a time of change. It's a time of compassion. It's a time of looking what's going on in the world, being aware of the big picture, and sending love and compassion to all of our fellow human beings who are going through so many trials. Close your eyes for a moment and just imagine, ask your body to attach to any and all old beliefs that are no longer serving you. I look at any and all conscious, subconscious and unconscious beliefs that no longer serve me. I am looking at any and all beliefs conscious, subconscious and unconscious that no longer serve me and I choose to release these beliefs from myself. I choose to release these beliefs from my chakras. I remove to release these beliefs from my meridians. I choose to look at everything I know in this now moment and open my mind to new opportunities, to new solutions, to new pathways on my way forward. I choose to be free, I choose to be sovereign, I choose to be safe. And all those beliefs locked inside of us that we've believed our whole lives because we simply haven't questioned them. And then imagine a tiny little fire in every cell in your body. Tiny, tiny little fires burning up those old beliefs, those old patterns, those distorted thoughts that just keep us chained and enslaved and believing so many things on the planet that we're discovering our lives. Imagine those tiny little fires going up and down the body, breaking down any bonds, any bondages that are holding us to those beliefs. Little tendrils of flames up and down and just allow that burning energy Allow that burning energy to break through those bonds, break through those bondages, break through those ties. And allow that heart to be open. Allow that heart to be filled with love, filled with peace, filled with joy. Allow that heart to be moved forward, moving through that tunnel of life knowing that goodness is on the other end. Life is good, life is good, life is good. We are free. We are free. We are safe. And once again, imagine those trillions of cells in your body, tiny little flames, tiny little fires, tiny little fires all over. And imagine 
phoenix coming out of the fire. It's our birthday, that new phoenix with no presumptions, with no assumptions about life, with no predestined beliefs about our genes, no beliefs about our DNA, no preconceptions about how long we're going to live, what we're going to do. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Run that central meridian. And then imagine the entire world, this beautiful earth of ours. And this time I want you to see the elite, the people who have the control. And they believe that they're better. They believe they are worthy. They believe they can make the rules. They have that belief. to do is just add peace and love. So around this entire earth of ours, imagine a golden blanket of love. Around this entire earth of ours, a pink blanket of peace, a pink blanket of peace. And around this entire earth of ours, a blue veil of courage. It's time to be courageous. It's time to stand in your sovereignty. It's time to stand in your truth. It's time to stand in your freedom. Release any negative energy. any evil. Release any need to be enslaved. Enable your sovereign power. Life is good, life is good, life is good. Life is good, life is good, life is good. Life is good, life is good, life is good. Okay, my lovelies, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, see you soon.